to get to a lesson today. I'm going to multiply everything by x. That's going to change into 1200x all over x uh, equals 1200x all over x plus 4 plus 30x. That's called 1200 equals 1200x all over x plus 4 plus 30x. I'm going to multiply everything by x plus 4, so that's 1200x plus 4 equals 1200x. Uh, x plus 4 all over x plus 4 uh, plus 30x bracket x plus 4. So that should equal 1200x plus 4 equals 1200x plus 30x times x plus 4. Okay, did everyone get that far? Okay, so what I did is I just canceled out all the denominators so I did. Now I'm going to distribute everything here. So that's going to be 1,200x plus 4,800 uh, equals 1,200x plus 30x squared plus 120x. Everything's going to move over to the left. That change to 0 equals uh, 30x squared plus 120x plus 1,200x minus 1,200x minus 40, I'll take that here, minus 4,800. Uh, so 0 equals 30x squared plus 120x minus 4800. Did everyone get that or something close to it? All right, now I'm going to factor this. You guys will see yourselves. Right? Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do here right now for sure. Okay. Where is the thing that? Good question. Uh, what is that? Uh, 160, is that right? Okay, and the question is where does the 30 go? Okay, so I'm going to divide this side by 30 and divide this side by 30. 0 divided by 30 is nothing, right? Now I'm going to do what I did. It was sort of hard to explain on the board because um, I wasn't, um, when you guys were, you don't have to. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, okay, I'm going to show you how you can factor this. Now, I don't know if I did a good job doing this. Uh, I was trying to show you, but I did it very, very quickly. So what I do is I'm looking for two numbers here that multiply to get negative 160 and add to get 4. What the point I was trying to make on the video, and I don't know if you guys got the point, if it says two numbers add to four, what does that mean? Right. Very good. So the, like, the gap between them, the difference between them will be four. So the numbers could be like uh, eight and twelve or whatever. So what I did here, and hope you guys got when I did this, maybe this actually works. I'm sort of doubtful now. Um, 160, and I take the square root. And that's going to be 12.6. Okay. So what the number that probably is going to be the middle. So I'm checking the numbers I could check could be like 10 and 14, which isn't going to work. 11 and 15 that isn't going to work either. Does this not work? Well, I'm yeah. mistaken. I must have made a mistake in the question. Shoot. But that's the logic that I use there. And this, if you remember, on the uh, blackboard, when I did the video on yesterday, and I was back to my little big numbers, and I said, yeah, the numbers are 40 and 42, and all that stuff. That's why I did it. The fact was I looked at what the adding was, so that's going to be the gap between the two numbers. And then you're just going to take the square root of the 160, and that's going to be the number that's close to it. Okay. All right, so I've got to use quad formula, which makes me sad. Okay. Um, so I'm going to call that x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of uh, 4 squared negative, negative 4, 1, uh, negative 160, all over uh, 2 times 1. That's going to be negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus uh, 640, all over 2. So x is going to equal negative 4 plus the root of 656 
all over 2 or x equals negative 4 minus the root of 656 over 2. Can someone be brave and give me those two numbers? Yeah, go ahead. 10.8. Yeah. Negative or something. Um, probably negative 14.8. Can someone confirm that negative for me? I think that's where it is, but. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cross that out. Yeah. Therefore, it's going to be nine. I currently can't either. So I tried to make it work out. I tried to make the answer work out nicely. It didn't work. Yes, go ahead. Um, can, do you always get unnecessary that doesn't work? Like, generally, you will. Generally, okay, the question was, if I talk to you, please. Well, you always get an answer that doesn't work generally, okay? Because if you think the way you're solving a quadratic, there's going to be two solutions. So um, normally, yes, would be one that doesn't, one that doesn't make sense. Okay. In, unless everything cancels out, and they get like only one variable left. So unless the x squared is a little more than like 99 percent of the time, you get two positives. Oh, there shouldn't then be two positives. If there is two positives, you'll use your domain. So if there's some like x is greater than 10, yeah. there'll be one above 10, one below 10, right? That's, you know, we generally yeah. the way it works. So, yeah. Then how do we know that the root, let's look at the question, how do we know Yeah. Okay. Generally, like, if it's like a speed one, it's got to be bigger than zero, right? Um, if it's like a river question, the speed would have to be greater than, like, between, like, the, the greater than, like, the speed of the river, right? would have to be, like, a paddling yeah. speed, like, something like that, right? So. Okay, let's get to today's last one, which is graphing. I'll save this. Uh, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Uh